simple to go from one zone to another. We were just looking at zone one. We can push the left arrow, and now we're in zone two. Press it twice again, zone three. You can literally set up all 16 zones in, in less than five minutes um, with the front panel programming. It's easy to program, easy to operate. One of the other things on this front screen is the, uh, the diagnostic mode, DIAG. Once you enter that, you can tell everything that's going on inside the refrigerant monitor. You can check your pump pressures, you can check your infrared bench assembly, uh, you can look at the individual zones and the pressures that are, that are generated by searching those zones. So you have basically a report card on everything that's happening. If you need to do troubleshooting, all your information is right here on the screen. As I go back, I can go down here to the data log and I can look up historical trend information on what happened on individual zones. If there was a leak or a spill, it tells me the value. It also gives me the date and time stamp. Back in the system, I can set up my number of zones. I can change the way the, uh, the uh, leak detection is uh, acknowledged, whether you want a manual or automatic acknowledgement. Automatic uh, clears the fault, not the fault, the uh, alarm. Uh, if you have a leak, automatically when the leak goes away. Manual means that someone must come to the monitor and actually reset it. Uh, a lot of times in industrial applications, that's the one I would choose. So we make sure that somebody does something about the leak and they do it because they knew they had to go back and manually reset the monitor. Without, uh, without that, it would continue to display a leak alarm. Very simple to set up. I'm gonna open the case now and let you take a look inside of it so you can see the simplicity and, and the ease of this. Inside monitor. the monitor, we have the heart of it, which is up in the top, which is the infrared bench assembly. It's in a foam covered tube to stabilize the temperature because it's very accurate and very sensitive to refrigerant. This unit has one PPM resolution capability. So it'll pick up a one PPM leak. The uh, inside, I've got this loose so I can show it. There's a hydrophobic filter that keeps the moisture out of the infrared bench assembly so that if you would get uh, pick up any moisture or heavy uh, uh, humidity, this would filter it out and keep it from, from causing problems with the bench. Down in the bottom of the box are four relays. These are your leak, spill, evacuate, and system relays. You can hook to this circuit board right here and output two strobes, horns, contactors, lights, whatever you want to activate to allow let everyone know that there's a leak present. The fourth one, the system relay, would be hooked to a device that would let you know if the monitor went down for some reason. Because theoretically, through ASHRAE 15, you're not supposed to run your chiller without a monitor. These four devices right here are the actual alarm relays. They are triggered by the leak, spill, and evacuate values that uh, you preset on the front zone setup. The fourth one is a system relay, which you would hook up to allow you to be able to notify someone if the monitor went down. Because according to ASHRAE 15, you're not supposed to run your chiller without a monitor once it's installed. So this would notify you if there was a monitor fault. The other relays can be hooked up to trigger alarms, lights, horns, strobes, fans, uh, just about anything you want to activate that would help to uh, to notify or clear an area of a leak, leak gases. Um, the le relays are, once again, two amp non-inductive relays, and they are normally open and normally closed configurations. So, very simple to install, very simple to hook up. Infrared bench assembly is very sensitive and uh, has a very good lifespan. As opposed to chem sensors and things like that, most typically you'll get you know, two to five years out of your infrared bench assembly. So it has a good lifespan, good accuracy, and good uh, reliability. Um, in the bottom of the monitor is the sample pump. It's a six liter per minute uh, high grade pump, which makes it the fastest uh, monitor out there, just about twice as fast as anybody else's. It also has communications capabilities uh, from a very simple four to 20 board, which would plug in right here where these two plugs are. 4 to 20 output, you get uh, the PPM reading on one leg of it. On the other leg of it, you would get the zone reading. You can also add to it lawn works, which would bolt inside the front cover. 
or you could add JCI Metasys N2. There's also a back net package available. Um, so you can see as a peripheral communications, we have just about everything that, that's available out there that uh, this unit will talk to. Unit comes standard with Modbus. That is a, a standard feature uh, which can be accessed through the Modbus connector, which is right here just to the left of the relays. Everything is easily programmed on board through the RS-232. That's over here on the side we saw earlier. The RS-232 comes in and you can update the chip, the program, the software, and download any information that you need. Everything is modular in as much as if there's a problem with a, a board, manifold board, power supply, fuse supply, main motherboard, all those things are modular so they can be plugged in and, and removed in the field. The nice thing about this monitor is once it's bolted to the wall, it never has to come off the wall again. This monitor has the capability of being repaired in place with nothing more than a number two Phillips screwdriver. So it's very, very uh, field friendly and serviceable. The other thing that's really unique about this monitor is due to the configuration of our infrared bench assembly and programming, it never has to be calibrated. I know that sounds strange because everybody else's monitor out there needs to be calibrated. But this one, through the process of every 10 minutes, it pulls a fresh air sample in through the purge port, which is one of those zones down on the side of the box, runs a fresh air sample across the infrared bench assembly, zeroes the infrared bench to zero gas, and then goes back to monitoring the, the ports. So every 10 minutes, in effect, you have a fresh calibration, which makes this thing extremely accurate, extremely fast, and, and very reliable. The monitor uh, comes with a two-year parts warranty, once again, it can be replaced in the field. We can ship you parts um, so that uh, you can put them in without too much delay so you can get your monitor and your chiller back online. So the back rack monitor, once again, comes in four, eight, 12, and 16 zone configurations. It's front programmable, information downloadable, expandable, and will reach out uh, 1,200 feet on each zone so that it makes it the most versatile, the widest ranging, and the fastest monitor out there today. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, for all you guys out there, you probably didn't know we had Kenny Rogers as a customer. Now this is what Kenny's doing. He's giving the music up now. He's working for Johnson Controls. He's rocking and rolling. Is the control industry more fun than singing? Definitely. <laughs> if you need to control it or measure it, Stromquist and Company has a control solution for you.